Yeah. No, inshallah, it will, it will, it will come along, inshallah. It will, it will come along. It. Yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Shall I wait? Yes, yes, yes. Because it's like multiple. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, mashallah. Once, once you know the meaning, alhamdulillah, it's uh, it t- is a different feeling when the the recitation takes it to another level like wow like that the emphasis alhamdulillah so let us begin inshallah bismillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala ali wa sahbihi wa mawla in the name of allah may the peace and blessings of allah be upon his final messenger muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam his companions and all those who follow him until the day of judgment alhamdulillah we reached ayah ayah 19 uh, in the previous section, we spoke about the the plot and how the brothers they convinced the father, even though he in, uh, internally wasn't convinced. He knew of their of their uh, plot and their dislike for Yusuf alayhi salam. And then we we saw how they took him with him and they mocked him, they cursed at him, they beat him, then they tied him up and they threw him down the well and then in order to make sure that he doesn't come up they cut the rope right so this is what this is what Yusuf salam had to experience right at the hands of his blood at the hands of his brothers now we come to the point and this is interesting because we are you know in the current circumstances that we're in right there are many people and children that experience, right, that experience that Yusuf salam had being at the hands of strangers, right? Being detained in the airport, being at the hands of strangers, right, and so on. So that experience, right, going from the well and then being at the hands of strangers. So we start with Ayah 19. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wa jaat sayyaratun fa arsalu wa aridahum fa adalla dalwa. Qala ya bushra hadha ghulam. وَأَسَرُّهُ بِدَعَى وَاللَّهُ عَلِيمٌ بِمَا يَعْمَلُونَ وَشَرَوْهُ بِثَمَنٍ بَقْسٍ دَرَاهِمَ مَعْدُودَةٍ وَكَانُوا وَكَانُوا فِيهِ مِنَ الزَّاهِدِينَ can somebody read the ayah 19 for the for the Amshad? Start inshallah, we'll do like this and take turns. Bismillah And there came a caravan of travelers, and they sent their water drawer. And he let down a bucket into the well. He said, what good news? Here is a boy. So they hid him as merchandise, a slave. And Allah was they all know of what they did. Taham, you want to read in Arabic, inshallah? Since you're taking Arabic, yes. 19 again? Yes, inshallah. It's not a test, inshallah. It's just a, it's a, it's a privilege. <laughs> no. Jade, mashallah. Get. Fadl. 
Read read ayah uh, twenty, sir. Uh, Ashen in twenty, inshallah. We'll take turns, inshallah. You can. I'll give you the option. You can read in Arabic or in English. Jay, you get a discount today, inshallah. Bakhsin, 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 Okay, next. Choose whatever you want. Arabic or English? No Urdu. Only Arabic or English. <laughs> okay? That's not a third option. <laughs> I'm just, I, I just try to be ahead because, you know. I have a fresh of a second excitement. Uh, whatever you want. Yeah, yeah so they, but then there's like a stop sign. <laughs> because there's no shadda. So, so walinu, yeah, there's no, there's no shadda in the noon. So it's walinu walinu alimahu. No. Now the shadda is on top of the lamb, and the kasra is under the lamb. It should be under the shadda, but that's the way it's written in the Quran. Now. Ta, ta. Yeah, there's a hamza there. Min ta wili. Min ta Al ahadithi. Mashallah. That was a long ayah, mashallah. Yeah. That was like, ooh. We have to memorize Ah, yeah. That, we just take one ayah then, right? It, it depends. We give ikhtiyaran, right? No. But the ayah 22, inshallah. And then we'll go back to ayah 19, 20, 21, 22, so that everybody gets a chance, inshallah. Ayah 22. No. Your choice, Arabic or English? Okay, and then we'll read the. I don't give them the choice. So oh, khalas, that's, that's okay. Because the guardian is here. No. Well, I'm mad. Atainahu Atainahu Hukmahu Wa'ina Wa Kadalika Nijadil Muhsin Now, mashallah Good Now, 21 Sister Shanaz Oh, Sister Anila, go ahead, inshallah, sorry Go ahead 21? You could do 19, you could you have a choice From 19 to 22 Because we're going, we're, we're doing those four ayahs today, inshallah Okay, inshallah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we'll read the meaning now, inshallah. Next is Tishanaz. On re read either either nineteen, twenty, twenty one or twenty two, inshallah. So you can do twenty two, do twenty two and the one before. The one that says Walamma Balaga Ashuddahu Walamma Balaga After twenty one, after the long I Ashuddahu Okay. Nice, nice, Great, mashallah. No, that's it, inshallah. Oh. Jazakallah khair. Khadiya, can you read 20, 21, inshallah? The English, inshallah? Yes, inshallah. And he, the man we give you this excuse, inshallah, okay? Okay. <laughs> Good. Uh, uh, 22 also, just to... Good. So it shows you what he went through as a child before, you know, attaining manhood. And it also shows you when Allah SWT selects the Prophet, right? So he, it was during manhood. Right? When he already reached that age, of being able to take the responsibility, right? So that's why also his father had, in, in his wisdom, he told him, don't say your dream because he wasn't ready to deal with the responsibility of what was coming, right? So here, so let's, let's proceed. Bismillah, ma'abha. 19 to 22. Yeah, just four, inshallah. So we give you a discount this time. But 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 twenty two is like covers out of lines, right? So and there came a caravan of travelers, a caravan of travelers, and they sent down their water drawer, right? They 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 called, they summoned, they summoned. See, they had a group. They summoned the person that was assigned from the group to be the one that gets the water. And then there's a word that we learn typically in, in beginning Arabic, which is dalwa. When the dal, dalwa. What is dalwa? Bucket. Dalwa, bucket. So if you see here, in the ayah it says, fa'adla, fa'adla, Dalwa, dalwa, right? It's dalwahu, dalwahu because it's his bucket, right? The water drawer's bucket. That, that, that who is, you, you implemented the Arabic to him, right? Right, you implemented it, right? It's, it feels good to, to know what it means, right? Dalwahu, his bucket, right? The, the bucket of, the 
of the uh, of the water drawer, right? Or the person responsible for uh, put uh, getting the water from the well. And he let down his bucket into the well, right? And he said, what good news, here is a boy. So they hid him as a merchandise. Gulam is the boy, right? Uh, yeah, Gulam, yeah. Like in the Hadith Ibn Abbas, the Prophet Sallallahu said, Ya Gulam, Ihfadillah yahfadka, O Gulam. And Gulam is a particular, is a particular age, see? It's different than al bulugh Naam. Right, so here this is terminology of different age. There's different, there's ghulam, there's fata, there's different ages. Okay, so he was a ghulam during this stage, right? So here, here is a boy. So they hid him, who is they, right? And as a merchandise, merchandise as a slave. And Allah is the knower of what they did. Again, who is they? Now uh, we want, we're going to implement, for example, the principle of the principle that the Quran there is variation in meaning, but there's no contradiction. So here the the, the meaning varies, but there's no contradiction; it only enhances. Then the, the the second the second ayah is, and they sold him for a little price for a few dirhams. The term is, is specifically dirhams. This is specifically uh, currency. So, uh, you know, in regards of the translation, if it says other than dirham, then I'd rather say dirham, like for example, dollars is dollars in any language. Nam, uh, darahim. So here, because in English, the, right, and they're using the transliteration to not change the word, we can use dirhams with a S, like in the English context. But it's darahim. Darahim is plural. There is a variation in meaning, inshallah. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that right now, inshallah. This is just the eye. We're going to get to it right now. And they sold them for a little price, for a few dirhams, and they were, and they were of those who regarded him insignificant. Yusuf rescued from the well. Now he's been in the well. Look at the settings. He went from the, the cradle, right, of his father of his family, the care, the protection, right, the safety, in the hands of his brothers who had ill intent. Then the next setting is the well. Loneliness, darkness, cold, water, pain, because he was cursed at, he was hit, he was abused, and the worst part, by loved ones, right? And then, in the midst of feeling all that pain, getting wet, maybe being cold, there's no heater, there's no closet, I can't change my clothes, right? All of these experiences, he's experiencing. Now, so Allah narrates what happens about Yusuf, right? His brother was down in the well, right? Alone, he remained there three days. He remained there three days. When, when after Yusuf's brothers threw him down, they remained in the area to make sure that he didn't get out. Okay? They remained watchful. They were in the area. And for the rest of the day, not, not, not the three days, and then they, Allah sent the caravan, and the caravan camped near the well. And now the caravan camped near the well, and that's when the, the ayah says, and, and they sent the water drawer to go and get the water and come back. <coughs> when he approached the well and he threw the bucket, Yusuf grabbed the bucket. Yusuf grabbed the bucket, held it, and then the man rescued him, right? He brought him up. So that's why, now look at the, the ayah, right? Now the man rescues the, rescue Yusuf, alayhi salam. 
And what does he what, what does he say? No, what, what he says? Ya Bushra Hada Ghulam. Right? What great news! This child, a child, he went to get water, he found a child. What great news! He saved him. He went to get water and he saved the child. That's why he reacted like this. Right? Ya Bushra Hada Hada Ghulam. Then so they hid the news. Who is they? They is Yusuf and his brothers. It includes Yusuf alayhi salam. Right? Now, why? So the, the brothers, they saw that they took Yusuf out because they're, they're close, they're nearby, right? They're seeing. Yes, the brothers still were around. They saw that they, that the brothers still came around. And when they took him out, the brothers saw him. The brothers saw him. And what they did is that they didn't claim him. The brothers didn't claim him. So they hid the news. Right? They hid the news. And Yusuf alayhi salam didn't claim them. Because he feared that they will kill him because they cursed him, they beat him, they threw him in the well, and it didn't work. So they, he feared that they, will re, that they will resort to a worse uh, 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 plot. So he thought that in the hands of strangers, maybe he was safer. So now, so then, when when they said he's a slave, right? But they claimed him as a slave. The brothers claimed him as a slave. And the brothers sold him. The brothers with the caravan, they sold him. Right? So here, so here it states, No. No. So he states, Allah sent down. So more uh, just to make it clear, like it is, the brother, eleven brother was around. Yeah. And when the caravan came, they found him. Then they claimed he's um, our slave. Basically, ten brothers, because ben Benya Benyamin wasn't around. Okay. The ten brothers that plotted, right? So then uh, the brother said that this is our slave, and they sold him no. to caravan. So he says, look, they. Ibn Kathir says Yusuf's brothers who hid the news that he was their brother. Yusuf hid the news for fear that the brothers might kill him and preferred to be sold instead. Consequently, consequently, Yusuf's brothers told the water drawer about him and to his companions. So they said, a slave whom we can sell. Then Yusuf's brothers sold him. Right? So you see, there is, so if you look at it, it just looks like the caravan found him and the caravan sold him. No. The brothers claimed him, but as a, as a slave, not as their relative, as their brother. That's our slave. Because that, that was a commodity that existed in those days where families had their servants and slaves right, to serve them. And also the children of slaves, yes. Um, were they not like inquisitive about the fact that how your slave ended up in there? Like, like is there, like that's just kind of... Yeah, that's, kind of, that's what, that's how much we know. It could be, I mean, Allah wa'alam what, what conversations took place and so on. But merchants, merchants, this type of caravan, merchants, traveling, they're thinking of... Prophets. We're traveling. Profit. There's more profit. Right? There's more profit. Now, Now, 
No, ghulam wa asarruhu bid'ah. Right, wa asarruhu bid'ah. Wa asarruhu here asar. Asarru here means that they hid him. Asarru is secrets. Right? So here, wa asarruhu bid'ah is that they kept him secret. Bid'ah here means slave. Slave, right? <coughs> so when they found him and the brother said he is a slave, right? That identified him. They could have said he's our brother. But instead, they said he's a slave. He's our slave. And they ended up selling him. Now, because they viewed him in significance, right? Because they view him, and, and then Allah says, look what Allah says, and Allah was the all nor of what they did. Right? Allah, Allah was the all nor of what they did. There is another ayah that says, yeah, Allah, Allah says, um, Ala lahu al khalqu wal amr, tabaraka Allahu rabbul alameen. Surely, his is the creation and the commandment, the order. Tabarak Allah, blesses Allah, Rabbul Alameen, the Lord of all the worlds. So here Allah knew that Yusuf's brothers, and that, let's take Ibra lessons from this. Uh, Allah knew that Yusuf's brothers and those who bought him, they did what they did. He was able to stop them. He didn't stop them. But out of his perfect wisdom and decree. Now when we take lessons from this, Ibn, Ibn Kathir brings, brings us to the Sira, right? And he says, this reminds us of the life of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Allah has perfect knowledge and had perfect knowledge of the persecution that he was going to face, right? By his people and how they turned on him, and how they drove him out, right? And Allah was able to prevent them. But Allah decided to give them time. Allah decided to give them time. Why? So that the Prophet ﷺ could at the end be victorious. But now in the victory, in the opening of Mecca, now how do we how, look at how... Allah makes this happen and how Ibn Qadir can men brings up this lesson in this part of the story of Yusuf. But now, now think of the opening of Mecca by Kaaba. What did the Prophet tell the people when they were there and they and he said, after all this 20 plus years, who got killed right, by you, uh, these shuhada died, and all of these things happened, we were driven out, we were boycotted, all of this happened, and now the Prophet has the upper hands, right, now he can ask you, right, and he said, what do you think I'm going to do with you in this day, he said, you're the best of our, you know, the, 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 the son of the best of us, and you are the best of us. And what did, he, what did he say? He said, I tell you today what Yusuf salam told his brothers. There is no sin on this day. He forgave them. He forgave them. After all that suffering, all that pain, he still, this is Rasulullah. We, somebody does wrong, we never forgive them. In our, our book of forgiveness is is that we have no space to forgive. If we follow Rasulullah, then we should make space. This is Rasulullah, driven out of his home, abused, right? A attempted murder, he was going to get killed, Ali slept in his bed. He had to make hijrah, and he had to take the, un the, 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 the route that wasn't, there was no route, it was mountainous. There was no route because if not, they, they would have gotten caught. So he went through all of that and they left their properties, families, all of this time. They suffered 13 years in Mecca, three years in secret. They couldn't pray in public. So then come to this. 
Now, what do you think I'm going to do with you? And he said, he forgave them. That is, our, that's why he says, he was, Allah says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةَ لِلْعَالَمِينَ And he, 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 he practiced that we didn't send you except as a mercy to all of the worlds. And then, Allah's Messenger told, told his companions, he said, الرَّحِمُونَ يَرْحَمُهُمُ الرَّحْمَانِ The merciful will be shown mercy by the most merciful. إِرْحَمُوا مَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ يَرْحَمُكُمْ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاءِ the merciful will be shown mercy by the most merciful, by the most merciful Allah. Show mercy to all who are upon the earth, that the one who's in the heavens will have mercy on you. Mercy. This is the, the example of the Prophet. ﷺ. So now let's go back to the story. Here, and they and they sold him for a very low price. Yusuf's brothers sold him for a very low price. They view it in significance, right? And the caravan instead wanted him for free. Now, Yusuf's brothers, when they, when they sold him, they had no knowledge that he was going to be a prophet, that he was going to have a high rank, that that dream that he saw was going to be fulfilled. And they didn't know about the dream. Now, but remember what I told Yusuf salam when Nam. What is it? Wa wahayna ilayhi la 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 tu la tu nabi annahum bi amrihim hada wa hum la yashurun. Right? And we inspired him, right? Wa awhayna min al wahi. Revelation. Wa awhayna, and it's emphasized. There's a mad. Wa awhayna ilayhi, and we inspired him. Right during during that that situation when he's thrown in the well, you will inform them. You will inform them about this, and they will be unaware of it. Right, so Allah is giving them a heads up. Don't worry, comfort from Allah. Right. The next two ayats, the ayah twenty-one, states, "And the man from Egypt." Now we're going to a new setting. So there is the the characters in the story so far are, right? You have Yaqub alayhi salam, is uh, Yusuf alayhi salam, right? Yusuf alayhi salam. Then you have the brothers, right? The 11 brothers. Then you have the caravan. Then you have specifically from the caravan, the one that's assigned to get the water. Right? This spe 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 specifically, you have the brothers and specifically you have Yusuf and Benjamin. They're unique. And then you have specifically also Rubil, which is the older brother that, what did he do? He told the brothers, don't kill him. Just throw him in the well. So there's specific characters. Now he's sold. There's another setting from the well to the market. Right? He's sold as a slave. Now another strange man purchased him. A man from a different region. Another setting from Egypt. And he bought him and said, now he now he's going home. He's going home and he's gonna make shura with his wife. He said to his wife, make us stay comfortable. Maybe we will profit from him. Right? We nurture him, make him grow, and then sell him as, as merchandise. Or we can adopt him as a son. Then Allah, Allah gives, yes? How old is Hazrat Yusuf when he was dropped in the Ghulam, he was a young child. Young child. Young child, yes. Now here he, he goes from this stage in the care of the, of the Aziz of Egypt, he matures, right? To the point that he can get a, he can work. So this Egyptian will call him his 
Aziz, yeah. No. So here, Aziz is the position. It's like a, like a prince, like a king, right? Aziz. So here, uh, that's why in the, in the tafsir, it mentions him. It mentions him la later on. So here it says, it, then it went, when the, the ayah says, Bismillah uh, ar-Rahman وَكَذَلِكَ مَكَّنَّا So now, this man is a man of position. The Aziz is a man of position in Egypt. Right? That was, it's like, for example, um, what's it? Uh, Najash, right? Najashi. Najashi is not a name, it's an attribute. Okay? So anyone who had that position was a Najashi. Okay? Yeah, so this is Aziz. So the Aziz here, now look what Allah, Allah indicates in the ayah, Brother Elias. Right? Allah says, well, and, we, and, and who, the one who bought him was a man from Egypt, right? Didn't describe. He told his wife, right, make his stay comfortable, right? Asa, perhaps, and yanfa'ana, that he will bring us some benefit, aw natakhidahu walada, or we keep him as a child, right, or we adopt him. But now look at the continuation. Wa kadalika makkanna, and in such way we established, right? Yusuf in the earth. وَلِنُعَلِّمَهُ To teach him. مِنْ تَأْوِيلِ الْأَحَادِيثِ To teach him the interpretation. تَأْوِيل And تَأْوِيل تَفْسِير تَفْسِير There is another word for تَأْوِيل too. تَأْوِيل interpretation. تَأْوِيل nowadays it has taken one particular meaning. Right? Some people take it as تَأْوِيل is you interpret it incorrectly. You're making تَأْوِيل of the ayah. Right, you interpret it to, to your own uh, uh, desires, right? But that wheel used to be also used interchangeably with tafsir, which means to get insight and interpret the intended meaning. That wheel. Tafsir is the same. So here is interpretation of dreams. Min ta'wil al ahadith. And ahadith also, you see, not stories. Dreams, right? So here we have Wallahu Ghalibun Ala Amrihi. Allah, Allah is full of power and control over the affairs of Yusuf. Ala Amrihi, Amrihi, Hua, Amrihi, right? His, his affairs. وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ But many people didn't know. أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ Plural, right? أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ Al-Aziz. أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ The caravan. أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ the, the, the brothers. They didn't know. Yaqub a.s. was a prophet. He had insight. He was just patient. He knew that Allah had something in store for Yusuf alayhi salam. That's why he said he let the brothers take him. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, so Allah mentions the favors that he granted Yusuf, as Ibn Kathir says, alayhi salam, by which he made a man from Egypt who bought him take care of him and provide him a comfortable life. More comfortable than the well, right? He also ordered his wife to be kind to Yusuf. Because sometimes the, the husband, right? Sometimes <coughs> husbands come with a, with a crazy idea. I have this idea. Don't, don't worry. Don't, don't be defensive. Don't put your, your protection uh, in that cap. <laughs> No, but sometimes we have these crazy ideas and, and, and our wives have this perception that no, that's not going to work. Right? I'm talking about this time. Time of Yusuf, don't worry. Don't. I'm talking about the time of Yusuf, alayhi salam. So here, 
here, now this, the Aziz bringing somebody to his house, right? The Aziz bringing a stranger to his house, right? And so he tells his wife, take care of him. Sometimes, and we've seen it, we've seen it in soap operas that the, the, the wife doesn't take care of the, the guests of the host, right? Sometimes this happens, and this you see it in soap operas and stuff like that. That's, I'm not saying a good wife, I'm saying this type of wife, right? But here, the Aziz made shura with his wife, and he said, make us stay comfortable, perhaps. We can profit from him. There's some fa'idah. Perhaps we can profit from him or we can adopt him. That's true, right? So now, so he also ordered his wife to be kind to Yusuf in the hopes that he becomes firm, righteous. He said to his wife, Akrimi Mathwahu Asa and Yamfana Aw Yatahidahu Walada. The man who bought Yusuf, the man who bought Yusuf, Elias, in the Tafsir, it says, the man who bought Yusuf was a minister of Egypt. Okay? Yeah, a minister of Egypt. And his title was Aziz. Three had, so the, it was narrated that Abu Ubaidah said, Abdullah bin Masood said, three had the most insight. The Aziz of Egypt, who said, the Aziz of, now this is a, some examples. Make us stay comfortable. Perhaps we can benefit from him, both ways. Another one is, the daughter of Shu'ib. When Musa salam left Fir'aun and protected them when they were trying to get water from the well also, right? And Musa protected them. And then they came to Shu'ib. And Shu'ib said, pick which of my daughters would you like to marry? But he had to work. Musa a.s. had to work. And one of his daughters said, perhaps, right? She said, Ya abati istajirhu. Oh, oh my father. Ya abati istajirhu. Employ him. Why? Because the best to employ is, has two characteristics. Now this is for employers, right? The best to employ in the ayah says, al qawiyul Amin, Strong, trustworthy. Musa had both qualities. He was trustworthy and he was strong. So the girl had insight. So in the hadith is mentioned in that three had insight. And, and Yaqub alayhi salam. And Yaqub alayhi salam as well. Here, in such way that we establish Yusuf, meaning Makkana. Why? Because Egypt was a place of strength. The people from the different villages, they used to go to Egypt to acquire their sustenance, to acquire their food, right? To get it from the Aziz. To get it from the Aziz. So Allah says, Wallahu ghalibun ala amri. Again, is reminding us of the qadr of Allah. In the midst of all of these things that occur, we should never forget the qadr of Allah. We should never forget the power of Allah. When Allah tells us, Ma asaba min musibatin fil ardi wala fi anfusikum illa fi kitab. إِلَّا فِي كِتَابٍ مِّنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ نَبْرَعَهَا إِنَّ ذَلِكَ عَلَى اللَّهِ يَسِيرٌ And whatever happened to you, whatever hit the earth, 
or affected you is already in a book before it, it even took place. Min qabli an and that's easy for Allah. Why? So that you do not worry about what you missed, what missed you. Or what you missed. And so that you don't become overjoyed with what you attained. Allah wants us to be moderate. So Allah has power over everything. وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْمُونَ But many people do not know of his knowledge. His knowledge about the creation, his knowledge about time, his knowledge about the Day of Judgment, his knowledge about who will be in paradise and who will be in hell. His knowledge about Every single individual's lifespan. Every single individual, regardless of the race, their lifespan. Now Allah mentions, When he attained, بَلَّغَ reached, Yusuf alayhi salam, أَشُدَّهُ He became strong, developed, and reached, Full manhood, sound mind, strong body. So now look at this sound body, strong body, sound mind, right? Allah nurtured this with what? Allah gave him hukman, wisdom. وَعِلْمًا and knowledge. And this hukman is what? Which is prophethood. Allah gave him prophethood. And Allah gave him knowledge. And Allah sent him for the people of his time. He was sound mind, sound body. Allah gave him hukman, prophethood, and knowledge. Right, so now Allah mentions in, 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 an, in, in an ayah of the Qur'an that to the Prophet Sallallahu Allah warns him, O oh, oh Muhammad, set, proclaim what we reveal to you. And if you do not proclaim it, then you didn't fulfill your duty. Right, so here Allah gave prophethood and knowledge. There's a responsibility that he has to fulfill. But Allah gives this good to who? To the good doers. وَكَذَلِكَ نَجِزِي الْمُحْسِنِينَ Now, I want you to remember this. And in such way, do we reward the good doers? From that ayah back, from that ayah, let's backtrack. Right? From ayah... 22 to ayah 1. What good thing did Yusuf do in this story so far? What action did Yusuf do from ayah 1 to ayah 22? He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. Right? Allah is mentioning وَكَذَلِكَ نَجِزِ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Right? Okay. The next ayah is talking about the, the temptation. Right? So Allah is mentioning it beforehand. So now, let's go back to what we mentioned that Allah has knowledge over everything. You see? So Allah tells you beforehand what's going to happen in the story. وَكَذَلِكَ نَجِزِ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Now he's going to face the temptation. Right? So inshallah ta'ala next week we will do ayah 23 till... I'm going to give you a lot of ayahs. So. A lot of ayahs, so yes. Okay? We're going to take the ayahs that we didn't do today. Inshallah. Bismillah. 
Ayah 23 to 29. Six ayahs for you, like you like it. So, and then next, next, next Wednesday, inshallah. Next Wednesday, inshallah. Barakallah fikul. So next Wednesday, the title is Iman versus Temptation. Iman versus Temptation. Concluding with the ayah, wa kadhalika najizil muhsini. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Ashadu wa la ilaha 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 Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam online and, and in person.